Hello everybody and welcome to the Japanese class once again. Well, we have been doing a lot of things, we have been learning new forms, new ways of talking in Japanese, new expressions, a lot of uh, kanji characters. Now today also we will do something new, we will learn another new form in Japanese and of course a few kanji characters, a few expressions, a kotowaza, proverb and of course a lot of vocabulary. So well, before that as we always do, let us go over our assignments and see what we have done. So well, the first assignment that I gave you was match the kanji characters with the pictures below. So there are a few pictures here for you and there were a number of kanji characters below the pictures, you had to match them. So look at this picture and see, well there is a man sitting under a tree. So what does it look like? It is Yasumi and of course the reading is not given, you have to recognize from the picture and the kanji characters. Then we have Hairu, there is a tree stem or a branch and something over here, another branch coming out or joining in, Hairu. Then we have the moon, Tsuki or Getsuyobi no Getsu. Then we have just the ki, ki which is tree, a hand, te. Then we have the sun and the associated meaning with the sun is de, so nichi. And this looks like ashi to me which is feet and this is he, you can see over here, he or as you know kaiobi, kaiobi no ka. So this was your kanji practice, well you please write down the hiragana or the readings for it in hiragana and not in roman and practice your hiragana like that. Well this was given, this was hito similar to Hairu and this was put there for you to find out which one is actually the correct one. Now we have a few fill in the blanks here with words given below. So well there were a few words for you and we will see what the words are. Watashi wa kyonen no rokugatsu ni after time expression ni ryoko o shimashita okasan to otosan mo issho datta kara issho deshita plain form datta kara because they were together tottemo very degree of something tottemo exceptionally very tanoshikatta this tanoshii Past tense, tanoshi katta. I was very, very happy. Ryoshin to issho ni iro iro na omoshiroi tokoro o mimashita. Ryoshin is parents, polite for otosan, okasan is Ryoshin and polite for someone's parents is go Ryoshin. We did this polite word go last time, go jusho. So well, another go example is go ryoshi. To issho ni iro iro na omoshiroi tokoro o mimashita. Tokoro is place. Ryoko no toki tenki mo yokatta kara nan demo dekimashita. I deshita. I have done this with you in class. I is good and past tense for i is yokatta. Nan demo anything. Deki mashita. I was able to do it. Tatoeba, for example, yama nobori o shimashita. Yama nobori is climbing mountains o shimashita. Bijutsukan e ikimashita. Bijutsukan is museum 
たくさんおいしいフランス料理も食べましたそして1週間後に after 1週間に again time 東京へ帰りました You can also use 戻りました over here which also means to return because you are already living in this place and you are returning to this place then 私は毎年 every year 毎年 or 毎年家族と一緒に家族と or 家族と一緒に旅行をしたい I want to do カナイもそう思います or so 思っていますし also things like this now there are a few things over here which we need to do so very quickly I will do with you on the board the first one is dash no toki toki means at that time for example gakko no toki gakko no toki when I was in school daigaku no toki daigaku no toki when I was in the university so you can use toki like this or kodomo no toki kodomo no toki when I was a child so you can use toki like this very very freely then you have tatoeba tatoeba we have already done once means for example then you have taksan over here which is taksan taksan means I have I think done it once in class earlier but once again for you taksan means amount something that can be counted that can be measured and means lots and yoku again means lots but yoku cannot be counted cannot be measured it is degree of something but cannot be measured cannot be seen then what do we have kairimashita I just told you modorimas can also be used then maitoshi is every year and then we have something over here so omote imas which I will do a little later because that is what we plan to do today now there are other uh, there is some more kanji practice for you write the opposites for the kanji characters given below takai yasui kuroi shiroi iku kuru or kimas then mai which is front ushiro gogo afternoon gozen morning and atarashi furui so well this was kanji for you write the hiragana once again for all the characters given here it will help you you can practice your hiragana like that and this was these are two kanji characters just put there for you to find out which one is actually the correct one then we have fill in the blank spaces with appropriate interrogative words and particles so well the first one is nomimono wa aishite ga ii desu ka kocha ga ii desu ka then kaeru mai ni watashi no heya ni kite kudasai kaeru mai ni before returning please come to my room then ryoko wa doko ga ii desu ka rao san donna kagu kagu is furniture donna kagu o kaitai desu ka rao san wa mo kotatsu o kaimashita ka mo we did mo last time mo means 
already. So, Rao san you have already bought a kotatsu, kotatsu is a low lying center table, very 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 liked by the Japanese. So, they all have a kotatsu at home. Then kondo no yasumi ni doko ka e ikimashou ka, doko ka is somewhere. Then sha wa mada desu ne, not yet and mo rokuji desu ka. So, we have one more over here mada which means not yet and mo means mo with the long sound means already. Mo rokuji desu ka, mo jikan desu ka, it is already 6 o'clock or oh, is is it time now for whatever activity? Mo jikan desu ka and mo kaimashita ka, have you already bought it and ie mada desu or hai so desu, I have bought it. So, you can use mo and mada like this. Then change verb forms and fill in the blank spaces. So, well let us see shumatsu ni konsato o mini ikimasen ka. So, miru is given over here change this form to to see. So, mini ikimasen ka for the purpose of then kanji ga muzukashikute cannot read yome nai. Tanaka san wa kaisha o tsumori. Now, what does tsumori take? Tsumori takes a plain verb. So, yamemasu, yameru tsumori desu. Intend to leave. Kono hon wa omoshiroi kara yomu is the plain form. Please read yonde kudasai. Then, rao san wa kagu o bought kai mashita. Kondo no yasumi ni party o let's do shimasho. Then watashi wa mainichi basu de don't want to go ikitaku nai. Mou jikan desu, hayaku ikimasho. Already it is time. Let's go very very quickly. Then Onaka ippai desu kara mo cannot eat taberare masen. Onaka is stomach, ippai is lots to eat, thus, thus I cannot eat any more. Mo taberare masen, cannot eat any more. Then watashi wa isha ni nari. I want to become a doctor. So, this is some of your change the forms, verb forms. Practice these. Now, there is a small radio dialogue for you. Just listen to the dialogue and then I will do the explanations. Rao san wa ima doko desu ka?私は今デリに住んでいます。デリはインドの首都ですね。あ、そうです。デリはどんな町ですか。綺麗で大きな町です。デリと東京とどちらが大きですか。よくわからないけど、東京の方がデリより大きいと思います。じゃあ、デリと
大きな町です。大きな。So you will notice that 大きい。大きい。大きい is an I adjective, but sometimes な is also used with 大きい。大きいな。And also we have another adjective which is ちいさい。ちいさな、ちいさな is used. So these two adjectives do take na after them sometimes. As you can see over here, kirei de oki na machi desu. Deri to Tokyo to dochira ga oki desu ka? We did this last time. Deri to Tokyo to dochira ga oki desu ka? よくわからないけど、よく again, you know, I do not know much about this, lots about this, but 東京の方がデリより大きいと思います。I think that Tokyo is larger than Delhi. じゃあ、デリと東京とどちらが古いですかそうですね。You could also add this in your、uh, kaiwa. そうですね。When you actually want some time to think, Deri no ho ga Tokyo yori motto furui ka mo shire masen. I am not sure, but Delhi could be more older than Tokyo. Ka mo shire masen. And to omoimas is what we are going to do today. So please concentrate on those two things. Well, this is in your script. There are a few kanjis from here which we will do. For example, machi, Tokyo, and a few others, omoimas. And this is translation in English. So, well, you can go over it. Now, what we have to do is to omoimas. You can see what is written over here. To omoimas indicates the opinion of the speaker and translates to I think that I thought that. In English, it is preceded by verb in plain form, adjectives, and nouns. And there are a lot of examples given over here. For example, the first one is hon wa. Hon wa omo. Shiroi to omoi mas. I think it means I think that the book is interesting. Hon wa omo shiroku nai to omoi mas. Simple. Hon wa omo shiroi. You understand this. Hon wa omoshiroi des. That the hon is interesting, 100% sure that the book is very, very interesting. But if you say hon wa omoshiroi to omoimasu, I think that the book is interesting, then you are not 100% sure definitely. So this comes to about 80%, 85%, 75%, whichever way you want to take it. That You are not very sure, but yes, to a great extent, you can say that the book is interesting. So, well, hon wa omoshiroi to omoimasu. And if you want to say omoshiroku nai, so if you say hon wa omoshiroku nai, omoshiroku nai desu, 100%. I did not find the book interesting. Now, if you say hon wa omoshiroku nai to omoimasu, so you are just softening your statement also and not saying Directly that I did not like the book. Omoshiroku nai to omoimasu. I think that the book is not that interesting. Well, then you have Genki. Kodomo wa Genki desu. 子供は元気です。Exactly like this. 
Now adjective kodomo wa genki desu or genki da to omoi mas. I think he is in good health or kodomo wa genki ja arimasen genki ja nai to omoi mas. I think he is not in good health. So, well, what can you notice now from here? One thing is very clear that whatever comes before to omoimas will always be in plain form. Omoimas means to think, I think so, I thought so, and to over here is a particle which shows whatever is being said over here is actually quoted. So, it is more of a quotation particle used with omoimas and a number of other verbs as well. So, well you have genki and I adjective over here and then you have verbs over here you can see exactly like this hon o yomi mas. I will read the book or I am about to read the book. Hon o yomu to omoimas again in plain form and over here yoma nai to omoimas. You can see it very very clearly I will write it once again for you all of you and remove all the extra part. You can see over here yomu and yoma nai, yomu and yoma nai, yoma nai to omoimas, yomu to omoimas, omoshiroi to omoimas, omoshiroku nai to omoimas, genki da to omoimas, genki janai to omoimas. So, you can see very very clearly that to omoimas will always take plain form for I adjective, na adjective and verbs. Then you can practice here there is a small conversation Rao san wa jimushitsu ni imasu ka iru to omoimas or Inai to omoimasu. I think he is present and I think he is not present. Now you can replace jimushitsu with hon. Rao san wa hon o yomimashita ka yonda to omoimasu and yomanakatta to omoimasu. I think he has read. I think he has not read. Rao san wa tegami o kakimashita ka? Kaita to omoimasu. Kakanakatta to omoimasu. I think he has written. I think he has not written. Or you can also say over here kodomo wa tegami o kakimashita ka? Kaita to omoimasu. Kakanakatta to Rao san, camera o kaimasu ka? Kau to omoimasu, kawanai to omoimasu. I will buy, I think, I think I will not buy. Or Rao san, ashita kaisha e ikimasu ka? Hai, iku to omoimasu. I think I will go. Iie, ikanai to omoimasu. I do not think I will go. Rao san wa shumatsu ni watashi no uchi e kimasu ka? Tabun kuru to omoimasu yo. Maybe he will come. Or tabun konai to omoimasu. Maybe he will not come. So, you can practice to omoimasu 
in this manner and use it very very freely because it helps you in conversation and telling something for which you may not be very sure. For example, you can see over here what does this show? This is a kyoshitsu. Kore wa kyoshitsu desu ne? Sensei ga ima hairimashita. Soshite seito tachi wa ima suwatte imasu. Ima nanji desu ka? Kuji desu. Klasu wa nanji ni hajimarimasu ka? Minna hanashite masu yo ne ima. Klasu wa nanji ni hajimarimasu ka? Kuji desu kara klasu wa kuji ni hajimaru to omoimasu. You can see it is in plain form. Then again we have another class. Sensei wa ima oshiete imasu. A i u e o ima kokuban ni ne kaite arimasu kara mite kudasai minasan. Soshite seito tachi wa sensei no koto o kiite masu. Ima juji han desu. Class wa nanji ni owarimasu ka? Juji han ni owaru to omoimasu. His friend is telling him juji han ni owaru to omoimasu. So you can practice omoimasu like this. Now, as I told you a little while ago, particle to is used with omoimasu, is also used with imas and this is similar to direct and indirect speech though in Japanese it is not very clear what is direct and what is indirect. Just by adding to before imashita automatically what comes before to is in quotes. Please remember that and as with omoimasu or to omoimasu before to imashita also the verb is in plain form as you can see from the example over here. Rao san wa eiga wa omoshiroi to imashita. He was saying that the picture is interesting. Rao san wa eiga wa omoshiroku nai to imashita. He said that the picture was not interesting. Okaasan wa genki desu or genki da to imashita. He said that okaasan was genki. Okaasan wa genki janai to imashita. He said that okaasan is not in good health, in good shape. Okaasan wa genki datta. To imashita. He said that his mother was in good health or genki janakatta to imashita. Now, with verbs as well, Rao san wa eiga o mini iku to imashita. Rao san was saying that he will go to see the film. Rao san wa eiga o mini ikanai to imashita. He said that he will not go and see the film. So, this is how to imashita is used in a similar manner as to omoimasu is used which we saw just now. And then there is another way of using to imasu. Now, what is that? Let us see very quickly. Now, you can practice this. Well, Rao san to you hito o shitte imasu ka? It is a small conversation. Then I will tell you how it is to be done. Rao san to you hito o shitte imasu ka? Hai, watashi no tomodachi desu yo. Dou shite kikimasu ka? Why are you asking? Nani ka arimashita ka? Did something happen? Is there a problem? Kono aida the other day? Kaigi de atta toki ni kare wa anata o shitte iru to itte imashita. So, there are a lot of things over here. To imashita. 
he said that or he was saying that or he said ega wa omo shiroi to imashita ega wa omo shiroi to imashita now we have a different this is direct and indirect speech in quotes but we have something very different over here rao san to yu hito o shitte imasu ka rao san to yu hito rao san to yu hito this is not to imashita to yu hito is person who is called rao san is what it means person hito who is called rao san this person do you know shitte imasu ka hai watashi no tomodachi desu yo dou shite kikimasu ka why are you asking kono aida that day the other day kaigi de atta toki ni we just now did toki earlier kodomo no toki kodomo no toki or gakusei no toki atta toki ni ni meaning when i met him atta toki ni tabeta toki ni when i had it itta toki ni when i went so ta past tense plus toki ni at that time so at that specific time when a certain activity happened verb in past form plus toki ni kaigi de atta toki ni the other day when i met him at the meeting kare is he wa anata o shitte iru to itte imashita he was saying that he knows you so well there are a lot of things here hashi to you mono hashi to you mono thing a thing mono is a thing thing which is called hashi or ohashi ohashi is chopsticks hashi to you mono de tabe mas so mono which is called hashi one eats with that then empitsu to you mono de kakimas empitsu to you mono de kakimas mono a thing which is called empitsu sore de kaki mas so this is how you would use to you mono kanji to you mono wa muzukashi desu kanji to you this thing which is kanji is a little difficult now there was a word over there kamoshire masen kamoshire masen now please remember that kamoshire masen is in the negative there is only one form for kamoshire masen which is this which is in the negative but it has nothing to do with the negative at all it means 50% the work is going to be done okay for example if you say ashita watashi wa ikimasu watashi wa ashita ikimasu when you say this then this is 100% that you will go or watashi wa ashita ikimasen i will not go watashi wa ashita iku to omoimasu to omoimasu 
私は明日行くと思います。I think I will go tomorrow. So I am not very sure like here that I will go. I think that I will go. 私は明日行かない。ネガティブと思います。I think I will not go tomorrow. So I am again not very sure. But over here I am 100% sure. Now if I say 私は明日行くかもしれません。かもしれません。Then I may or may not go tomorrow. 私は明日行くかもしれません。Or 行かないかもしれません。Is I may go tomorrow or I may not go tomorrow with 行くん行かない。So again かもしれません。We'll take plain form of the verb one and two. If you say iku ka mo shiremasen, then kanose of going is more. Possibility of going is more. And if you say ikanai ka mo shiremasen, then possibility of not going is more. That is the only difference over here. Ka mo shiremasen is not in the negative. Please remember that. You can see over here it is written shows that. There is only a 50 percent possibility of the action denoted by the verb. May do, may not do. You can practice over here. To you, which we did just now, what does this look like? This looks like a trumpet. Well, kore wa nan to you mono desu ka? What is this thing? Over here, what is it called? Nanto yu mono. Now, torampetto to yu mono desu. This mono is a torampet, is called a torampetto, is called a trumpet. Or you could also say, kore wa nanto yu mono desu ka? A direct answer, torampetto desu. Also, you could also ask, and you have done it earlier in one of our lessons. Kore wa nihongo de nan to imasu ka? You have done kore wa nihongo de nan desu ka? Now, a better way of doing it is kore wa nihongo de nan to imasu ka, which you did just now, or kore wa. Nan to you mono desu ka? A much better way of asking. Torampetto to imasu. You can also answer as torampetto desu or torampetto to imasu. Now, you know what this is? This is a strawberry. So, well, kore wa nan to you kodamono desu ka? Ichigo to you kodamono desu ka? Ichigo to you to imasu. It is called Ichigo. This kudamono, this fruit is called Ichigo. Ichigo des, a direct answer. So, well, you can practice like this. To omoimasu, to imashita, to imasu, to you mono, nan to you. Mono desu ka? We did this earlier. Nihongo de nan desu ka? Over here you can ask in a better way. Nihongo de nan to imasu ka? Or Nihongo de nan to yu mono desu ka? Now we have katakana over here as we have been doing. This is the da series. Da, ji, zu, de, and do. But what you have to remember is that in hiragana, this and this is not used. It is da, ji, zu, de, and do. 
this is what is used though it is given over here da ji zu de and do and of course in katakana da ji zu de and do all these syllables are used you can practice on a graph sheet you can see how it's given over here very clearly and you will have a balanced syllable you can practice like this and make your g which is letter better and balanced this is your da series clearly given for you you can practice now there are a lot of kanjis today for you but very simple kanjis we'll do them very very quickly there is this kanji of sumu which is to live so well very simple 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 su and mu sumu is to live please once again 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 sum so it's a seven stroke character you can see over here it's a seven stroke character then we have omo we did omo just now omoimas so well you have done this one you remember doing this one this is kuchi and what does this look like this is to which is 10 ju so you combine the two 1 2 3 4 5 and you have this over here this means o mo omoi must to think this is a nine stroke character as you can see very clearly then we have machi of course over here machi is again similar to omo this character is similar and then we have a j over here very very simple a little longish and j so well this is machi this is a seven stroke character and then we have in the end over here furui simple you have done ju which is 10 and then you have also done kuchi which is mouth so well furui 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 means old and please remember hito is not furui things are furui so hon wa furui desu and not hito wa furui desu then we have done seasons earlier if you remember we did harunatsu aki and fuyu so today we will do higashi kita nishi and minami so the first one you have done with we have done earlier with the uh, Tokyo with this word Tokyo earlier in class so very very quickly 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 this is higashi once again 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 higashi now you remember doing this which is shi meaning four so well a little similar to this not exactly same but well 1 2 3 6 1 2 3 4 5 4 5 and 6 this is nishi means west then we have kita which is even simpler 1 2 3 4 and 5 this looks like 7 doesn't it roku and shichi so well 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 
1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. This is Kita and then we have in the end Minami. Remember doing this? Okay. Ju. So, 1, 2, 3, 4 and then you have the sign of Yen. Of course, this is not the way I am, I am repeating it again and again please. This is not the way to learn Japanese at all, but because time is short and there are a lot of things to do, it is not possible to do um, kanji characters the way they are supposed to be done. So, well, we will do them very, very quickly as words once again from the beginning 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Higashi, Nishi, Kita and then we have Minami for you. There are other readings also, Higashi is To, Nishi is Zai, then Kita is Ho and Minami is Nan. You can see over here very clearly and all the stroke order is given. You can practice it at home with the hiragana and the kanji strokes. A very interesting kotowaza which we all should do and it does tell about the Japanese people as well. Well, what does this look like? There is this old lady banging into something and about to fall and then we have korobanu saki no tsue, korobanu saki no tsue, korobu is to fall, saki is ahead or earlier, tsue is the stick. So, what does it look like now? Can you tell me? Well, it is very, very simple. You can see over here, use a walking stick lest you fall down. So, what does it mean now? Can you tell me? Literal meaning, literal translation of this kotowaza of this proverb is that use a walking stick when you are walking in case you fall down, but it has a very, very deep meaning that prevention is better than cure. Well, we all know in all cultures it is taught that it is better to be prepared for what is coming. It is always better to take care of to be prepared for any eventuality, to be prepared for what is coming rather than actually falling sick and then treating yourself. So, one has to be prepared, one has to be, one has to be intelligent enough, prudent enough to understand that it is always better to do things beforehand. One should not wait for something to happen. For that, we have to work beforehand, prepare ourselves beforehand, be prepared and try to then work. As you can see over here, well, the first kanji over here is korobu, which means to fall. Saki means earlier, before or ahead and tsue means walking stick or this bow or stick over here. So, this old lady is all prepared, set that in case she stumbles on something, steps on something, she has the stick to support her. Prevention is better than cure. So, well, that was your kotowaza. Now, we have a small expression here. You can see two people talking very nicely, chirpily over here and what are they saying? Rao san, shibaraku desu ne. Shibaraku is an expression which says,
meaning meeting you after a long time and the ladies say sashiburi shiburi sashiburi the ladies say sashiburi so please shibaraku is male speech rao san shibaraku desu ne meeting you after a long time so desu ne tanaka san genki and genki desu ka is not used genki with a rising intonation then we have mm genki yo informal genki yo rao san no ronbun hapyo wa dou datta how was your thesis presentation is inquiring yokatta to omou yo again informal yokatta to omoimas is not being used yokatta to omou yo tanaka san saikin isogashi desu ne you seem to be very busy these days saikin isogashi desu ne a very very common greeting i would say in japan nobody says that you are free it looks as if you are very very busy so being busy is not something bad in fact sitting at home idle or not doing anything is considered actually quite bad in japan so everybody is very conscious of this fact and they all work and they do not mind that they are busy more the work the better it is so that's how the japanese people think so well saikin isogashi desu ne chotto ne chotto ne is again very very japanese where you don't want to talk about your work but you just say yes that's that's right and you just leave it at that and again a so i see so this is expressions and conversation now you have your vocabulary over here kimochi and kibun almost mean the same guai is condition general condition of health raku is easy benri convenient to use or to move about chuka is chinese food or cuisine then uh, tsugi is next kondo is next time kono aida the other day or that day particular day aida is in between or interval or space so you can use these in sentences make sentences and then now my work is over your work begins now you have to do your assignments at home there is not much because already you have to do a lot of lot of things today that you have learned so well there is kanji practice again kanji with hiragana readings and then you have some grammar which you have to do please fill in the blanks with words given here these are the words you have to fill in the blanks and then you have one more change the words into proper forms and make meaningful sentences so the verbs are given over here words are given over here you have to change them and match with what is given outside the brackets so please do that and with this i will finish for today so minasan kyou wa kore de owarimasu mata kondo aimashou hai arigato so well thank you very much and see you again next time